Right, so this video is going to go through how to create a line graph using Google Sheets. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to input my data uh, into the document. Um, so the A column is typically designated for your X value. The B column is typically designated for your Y value. So for my X, we're going to have time. Uh, I'm going to also include the units in parentheses that I was recording my time in. So with this case, it'll be uh, minutes. In my Y value, it's going to be temperature and in parentheses degrees Celsius. Then I'm just going to input my data. Uh, so I'll do that for us real quick. And this is just an example of, of data, so it's not necessarily what we actually had um, in the lab, but just using it to, to create a quick example of how to actually then create the graph. All right, so once I have my data on the spreadsheet, uh, I'm now in the ready to actually create the graph. So to do that, I'm going to uh, click and drag and highlight all of my information. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go to this button here, which is insert chart. And I'll click on that. And Google is going to uh, create a graph that it thinks might be the best fit for what I'm doing. So I don't want a bar graph, which it's created, or a column graph as they call it. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger for us just so we can see it a little bit better as I'm working through. Uh, but I'm going to go up here to chart type. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to choose. I can see the different other suggestions that it has. Um, and I can see it has a suggestion for a line graph here, which is the, the one that I'm going to choose. As well as if I scroll down here, there's other options that I could use for the different types of graphs, but I want a line graph. So I'm going to choose that one here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to customize the different parts of the graph. So Google has actually done a really good job of making some of it for me already. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, go through some of the different customizations that we would want. So chart style, uh, that's if I wanted to change the, the type of line graph to a smooth or some of the, the different options, I'm not going to use that. Um, I'm going to want to change the chart title. So if I go to chart and axis title, there's actually, an, if I were to click here, I could change both the chart, the chart subtitle, the horizontal or the vertical axis uh, titles. And so that's where I would want to go. Now, if I look, my horizontal axis is already uh, labeled correctly. Time with my units, my Y axis or my vertical axis is already labeled correctly. Temperature with my units as well. So I'm going to change my chart title. And how we would label that is we would use our X value, which is time versus my Y value, which is temperature. And then I'm going to put a colon in, and I'm going to also title what this graph is actually showing us. So this graph, the line on this graph, is showing us the heating curve of water. Okay. Uh, so that's done, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through some of the other different uh, customizations that I can do. So uh, the first thing, the next thing that I'm going to do then is look at the legend. And so what the legend is, is this piece right here, which it would tell me uh, different pieces of information if I'm graphing multiple uh, charts or multiple sets of data on this. Because I only have the one line on here, I really don't need this legend. So I'm going to go to this, and then I'm going to go to position, and I'm just going to say none. And what that should do is just take that away and then make my graph a little bit bigger. So I'm done with my legend. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change. So one thing I don't like about my uh, x-axis right now is it doesn't start at zero. Um, yours might not do this. Yours might be okay, but mine doesn't start at zero. So I'm going to change my horizontal axis here, and I'm just going to go in and say, well, my minimum value, I want that to start at zero. And that then looks a little bit more appropriate from a graph of maybe what we're used to seeing. So I'm going to start that at zero. And then the last thing that I'm going to do, because everything else looks pretty good, is I'm going to add more grid lines. So grid lines are these vertical and horizontal lines, which just indicate where different values are on the graph. Obviously, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 20, 40, 60 is all marked, which is nice. But what about like this place right here? What about this place right here? It's hard to tell exactly what that might be. So when I go into grid lines, um, I, both, I have the option for both vertical and horizontal. So looking at my horizontal grid lines, uh, my major ones are already set to auto, which is typically pretty good. Uh, but I'm going to go to my minor grid lines. And if I were to add like one minor grid line, you'll see that then there's one that comes in between each of those major ones, which would be like 0 0.5, 1.5, uh, 
2.5, 3.5, and 4.5. Um, I could add more to that if I were to add them. And, and I'd want to make sure these grid lines make sense. So this would be 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1. 1 1.2, 1 1.4, 1 1.6, 1.8, 2. Um, so I'd want to make sure those grid lines are divisions that are easily um, understood and easily calculated. So I'm going to maybe leave that at 4. My uh, vertical grid lines, then I'm going to do the same thing. So I think, okay, well, if I add 1, right, that would make that 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Um, if I add maybe 5 of them, right, this would be like 4, 8, 12, 16. Oops. So again, maybe 5, not a good division. Um, if I go down to 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So that looks like a good number. Um, if I were to do three of them, this would be maybe 5, 10, 15, 20. So I might leave it at three there, um, but it's a good number that's easily divided. Um, and so I can count up easily and understand what those markings are. So uh, a pretty good standard setup for a line graph. Um, X axis is labeled, Y axis is labeled, my titles labeled correctly, and my grid lines make sense in terms of their values.